We are both in agreement that that's probably the best dumpling we've ever had. Hi, we're the Flying Finnies, a 50-something couple on their way to visit 60 countries before we turn 60. We're currently in country number 7, Taiwan, and in this video we visit two spots in Taipei well known for providing great street food, the Linjiang and the Shi Lin night markets. So come and join us as we sample the best dumplings we have ever eaten and get a bit more of a taste of Taiwan. Tracy and I are hanging out at the Linjiang Night Market. This is our third night market since we've been here in Taipei. We're starting out with a bit of Zhao Long Bao, and then we'll trawl the rest of the market and see what else we can find. This market was so much fun. It turns out it was all about dumplings for us tonight and a bit of fun along the way. I just wish I had these guys skill when it comes to folding wontons because they are absolutely all over. I'm a little bit disappointed. I misunderstood what I was ordering. When it said mixed Xiao Long Bao, I thought it meant like a mix of pork and vegetables. Instead, we've got like two of all the different types. I don't think I'm going to like the salted egg or the cheese, which sounds just strange, but you know, all right, let's go. It's okay. It's just a texture. It sticks to your teeth constantly. It's interesting because I actually really love eggs. Maybe it's duck eggs. I'm not used to the duck egg flavor, but I'm going to be very generous and give this one to Graham. <laughs> we were just down the road a few nights ago sampling the pork shalong bao at Din Tai Fung. So I'm going to grab one of these pork. I like it. I do like it. I don't think it's as good as Tin Tai Fung, but it's still very, very good. I will say, if I was to rate it on price, <laughs> it'd most probably be a 10 in comparison. This is another sweet one. This is good. I like it. It's not as good as the chocolate one that we had at Tin Tai Fung the other night, but it is really good. We couldn't go past this chicken drumstick. It looks so delicious and juicy and you get a choice of different flavoured salts. 45 Taiwanese dollars. Smells pretty good. Yeah, I wish you all could smell it. it smells amazing. Chicken and cumin, what a great uh, combination. We've done about 15,000 steps today, so um, I might need to do another 15,000 to work this off. Oh, <laughs> that smells great. It's not adventurous, but it's delicious. It's like a chicken lollipop. I don't think we better go back for more of <laughs> those. It's a bit hard to take material, that one. I'm really rating these markets. It's a mixture of everything. We've just got to a crossroads and the food stalls are running in all directions. So there is so much choice here. But more it's the vibe amongst all of the people that are here. Um, everyone's just cooking in. It's just, it's great to be a part of it. It is a Saturday night though. <laughs> it's a Saturday night, but I suspect given the size of the stalls and the roads, it's most probably popular during the week. Let us know in the comments below. You're tempted to have a go, aren't you, mate? And a whole 10 Taiwanese dollars. Try and get a Xiao Long Bao key ring. This is how they get you in. Oh no. It's big. It's big. Oh no. 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 Oh Looks like a dumpling night for us. We're just going past this fried dumpling stall and it looks amazing and there's a huge line, so that's always a good sign. Let's hope it's worth the wait. They don't look quite so appealing when they're squashed in a bag like this, but they smell fantastic. He asked me if I wanted chili sauce and I said yes. And I said on top and I hope I don't live to regret that decision. <laughs> 
My glasses are fogged up. <laughs> These ones apparently are poor. The lovely um, Singaporeans behind us on the line said the vegetable ones are the best there, but they've sold out of those. I guess that indicates that they're better, but I'm happy with the pork ones. They were steamed first and then they get like pan fried, so they get a bit crispy underneath. Really good. Again, not adventurous of us, but so good. I love it. We should move here. That is delicious. Daddy, you're not getting any more. <laughs> Might have to light up again. I think that's the best dumpling I've ever had. I think that you might be on the money there. They are amazing. Honestly, we are both in agreement that that's probably the best dumpling we've ever had. And we have had quite a few dumplings in our time. It's one of our favourite things to eat. So, um, Congratulations to Linz. Linz. Linz stand at the Ling Jen Bao. They Light are dumplings. phenomenal and they are worth the wait. Best dish that we've had so far. Yes, I think so. And I think yes. we're going to fight over the last one. <laughs> Best of three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, the good thing is, there's actually two left. <laughs> we had a great night at Linjiang Market and it only cost us 12 Australian dollars for dinner. What a bargain. The following night, we headed to our fourth night market, Xilin, to see if we could get any better dumplings than we'd already had. I think it might be time for another night market. Night Good. market number four. four. Yeah, baby. We've seen a lot of videos about this market and it looks sensational. As per usual, we have a list of things we want to try, whether we find them or whether we find other things that we prefer is yet to be seen. We have really done it right today. We ate very little lunch, so we are pretty hungry. We are ready <laughs> to really do this night market justice. Go to town. So again, it is a weekend, but these markets are absolutely bustling. It's lots of great food stalls and then along the side a whole lot of other retailers as well so i think we're in for a fantastic evening here so it seems my specialty is lining up for fried dumplings that was a it was a long line but it went really quickly because they've sold out of most of their stock again <laughs> so we have one pork and one beef look at that crispy looks great Lots of chives in there. I haven't got any meat yet. Mm. It's really good. It's juicy. The pastry is crispier, not as soft and fluffy as last night. So it's a different style of dumpling. It is delicious. I still think the other one was better, but this is really good too. A lot of moisture. Great food. Gonna run with the beef on this one. Then I will finish. <laughs> I will finish the pork. Good work. That dumpling was a really good first start for this market. We started strong. Let's see what, <laughs> let's see what else we can find. Our next stop was to try something that we had never tried before. She it's quail eggs, which I don't think I've ever eaten before, so we're going to give it a try. Cooked right in front of you. How cute are they? And I think we can get some chilli sauce on them. Don't they look yummy? It wasn't chilli sauce, it almost looks like a sweet barbecue sauce on it. Again, the sauce is sweet. That was salt and pepper, lots of salt and pepper that was sprinkled on. I like it.
Paprika? On that day. All right. This, this is my first time eating conch, or I guess you could call them sea snails. You can smell the paprika. I think there was also some salt and pepper on it as well. I suspect this might be a little bit spicy with the paprika. Let's see. Seafood explosion. A little bit of bite with the paprika, which is exactly what I was after. It's chewy. Absolutely delicious. I'm a convert. A little bit like calamari. Well, that paprika is quite hot. I might need to get one of these juices in a minute. Wasn't expecting that. I'm glad we tried it. Good. So it's a bit of a common theme tonight. We're going to try a few different things. There is a Michelin recommended thin noodle seller just over here. Very, very popular. Quite a large line out the front. Always a good sign. The thin noodles, and I'm not sure whether you can see them there. This is the number one special, which essentially is a little bit of everything. And so um, I understand. Don't know what everything is. Don't know exactly what everything is, but there is certainly fish balls. Um, there's oyster in there. There's pork. I think there's some intestine as well. I'm not a huge fan of offal, but I, I don't mind it either. So I'll be interested to see how this is. Coriander, there's a lot of pepper in there. It's quite peppery. The noodle is just luscious. It's really nice. It's got a hint of seafood. Oh, it's got so much flavor. It's delicious, really nice. Got a bit of a sweat happening. It's not super hot, but the pepper in there just created a whole lot of really nice heat. There was some tripe in there, um, some kidney, um, and the real hero are those ultra thin noodles, but in that thickened sauce, which was absolutely delicious. Just standing here in the light of the temple behind us, lined up for some Taiwanese sausage and sticky rice, which I've been looking forward to for some time. I've got to keep my place in the queue. There's quite a line, which um, is always a good indication that it's a, the right place to buy it from so let's hope the locals are right we've seen taiwanese sausage in all of the markets that we've been to so far we just haven't reached out yet but tonight's the night it's too much choice i need someone to help me so my friend here has said the classic ones are honey and garlic one honey and one garlic, please. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. There's this thing underneath which looks like a sausage, but we think that it's like the sticky rice that comes with it, that they cook almost like a sausage, and then the sausage goes inside it. So it's like a, a little hot dog, but with sticky rice. And I think this is the honey, it's really sweet. That's very satisfying. Look at all that sauce down there. Can you see it? This is really good. And like a piece of fresh spongy white bread, a rice bun, for want of a better word, sticky rice is perfect for absorbing all the fat from the sausage and the sauce. So good. In addition to great food, there was great entertainment from the stallholders here at Shi Lin. Just get one fried um, milk, but two strings, please. Two. Yeah. Thank you. It's dessert time. I was going to get one fried milk and one fried Oreo, but you don't need to fry an Oreo. You probably don't need to fry milk either, but I'm <laughs> I've never had fried milk. It sounded interesting. Let's step over here and eat it. My whole life is everything on a stick at the moment. <laughs> but fried milk. It's nice. I don't know what I was expecting. It reminds me of a banana fritter, but not banana y. <laughs> the, um, the batter on the outside is really light and nice, 
but super sweet. Yeah, it's almost a little bit savoury. It looks like I don't like it, I think. My face is saying I don't like it, but I actually do. <laughs> I'll try and show you what's on the inside. Hopefully it doesn't get too messy. Definitely worth a try if you're here though. Would I go back for seconds? Probably not, but you shouldn't go back for seconds with a fried dessert. So that's probably a good thing. Um, but yeah, give it a try if you're here. We've had a great couple of hours here at Chi Lin Markets. So busy. From the moment we got here to now, people absolutely everywhere. Fantastic food, great shops, but it's time to go back and get some sleep. Join us for our next video where we do the stinky tofu challenge. We really push ourselves outside our comfort zones here. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave us a comment. We love getting them and subscribe to the channel.